Welcome back. Uh, day, what's this? Day seven. Day seven of the 3,000 points in three weeks print and paint challenge for Epic Armageddon. And that in front of you is the Gargant. The Gargant, sir. And there's quite a lot of parts to it. I've still got two weapons to print. And then um, these ones here I hollowed out. And this actually is a separate weapon. So there's quite a lot of bits. All, none of them were provided supported, so you had to kind of do your own hollowing and putting holes in and supporting and stuff. Um, and then print out the little shoulders and feet and turrets and the head and the three main body parts and a little platform and a belly gun. And we've got two more guns to print and then that's, that's um, the Titan or Gargant, great giant Gargant um, completed. I just need to glue it all together, put it on a 100 mil base. It's a big old base. And uh, yeah, get it ready. Get it ready next week or the week after. Um, over here we have um, some completed war wagons, uh, sorry, war buggies and scorchers. And these are examples of the gun wagon and the flak wagon, which I think look pretty cool. Uh, you can see them with, in scale here, so quite a bit bigger. They are transports, these ones, but I won't be using them as transports because I've got no infantry in my list at all. And then we can look in the box, um, see, we've done all the scorchers now, they're all here. We've done most of the war buggies, there's just these ones here that need um, finalising today. So, well, they won't be finalised today, what am I talking about? They'll be um, undercoated today and then they'll be painted tomorrow probably. And then um, over here we have the rest of the war wagons and flak wagons. So we're doing pretty well, I think. We haven't got a great deal left to print, just um, a couple more planes and a couple of guns for this big thing. It did take me three times to print this little bugger. I was being a bit cheeky and trying to print it flat to the bed with just light supports to make it easy to clean off and um, it kept peeling away. So that was that's annoying because every time you have a failed print, you have to clean out the vat and clean the FEP and all that crap. So that, that can take a while and that can wear you down. So unfortunate that that happened, but that was just me being lazy and um, taking shortcuts. Um, another problem with using the very light supports is that you can tend to get a bit of curling here. So where, where it's pulling away, it didn't pull away completely, but it did pull away. Um, but you won't see that when it's on the base with the, the thing behind it, like this. So, you won't see that at all. Anyway, so um, it's only a short video today just to keep, keep to let you know where I'm up to. So the next time I post a video, I'll have probably, well, I'll definitely have done all the war wagons. I'll have probably done all the flak and gun wagons. And then I'll just have the planes and the big gargant to finish. Um, but yeah. So, um, yeah, it's not too proving as big a challenge as I expected. That's a bit of a, I could have artificially added some tension, but apart from maybe getting around to dry brush and stuff, I can't see me not doing this. So maybe three weeks was too much uh, too much time. Maybe you could have done it in two weeks, or maybe even if you're a proficient painter, you could have done it in one week. But I'm more a gamer than a painter, so we will, um, we will see how we get on in the gaming side, because the list is a bit cheesy, but I, I like my cheese. Anyway, until next time, uh, it's Warmaster Podcast doing some epic stuff.